Good evening, everyone. We wanted to do a short video um, about the new Star Wars movies. So I had already gone and seen Star Wars on the opening day, and I did a sh kind of a short review video about it, um, kind of my thoughts. That is coming from the perspective of somebody who saw all the original <laughs> movies and who really liked the original movies, um, but somebody who also just likes movies in general, and so like it's kind of a different perspective than your normal Star Wars fan would be. So we went and saw the today's January like twelfth or something like that. It's like yesterday. Yeah, I know. Today is January twelfth. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so today's January twelfth, and um, we went and saw. It's a, like I said, we're recording this, and we went and saw um, together. Went and saw the Rise of Skywalker uh, yesterday. Yeah. So I wanted to kind of sit down with with Anna and a video kind of talking about what she thought about the movie because she's not a Star Wars fanatic or anything. She has only actually seen, fully seen, um, episodes 7 and 8 and now 9. So she's seen the new movies, the Disney ones. She has not seen any of the original ones. Well, I've not that she paid like, attention to. I've seen like 10 minutes of each. And well, at this point you've seen half of episode 1. Oh. <laughs> we watched half of it and then we had to go to bed. Because, you know, adult life. So <laughs> we, can't, we couldn't stay up and finish it. So um, I kind of wanted to sit down with her and kind of get her thoughts on it. Coming from the perspective of somebody who knows nothing about Star Wars and is just seeing it as a movie, really. So what did you think of the movie overall? I mean, I liked it. I thought it was a really good finish to mm -hmm. the other two movies. Kind of wrapped everything up really well. Yeah. Um, I thought it was good. Yeah. I liked it. I'd watch it again. Yeah. I mean, I would too. And like, I, I liked going and seeing it again. Well, I thought it was good too. So, um, would you, did you agree with what I said um, about how the first like 10, 15 minutes just moves super yeah, fast? Yeah. It like, it was almost a little hard to follow because it was like, okay, now we're here. Oh, okay. Now we're here. Now we're doing yeah. And it we're doing this. Fast. But then we're doing this. The first, I think even in my, the video that I made, I was I was like hey you go, they, he went Kyle and I went to like seven different planets or something like that and actually watching it again he definitely didn't <laughs> no. he was on the first planet and then he traveled to and then it was like him traveling to this other planet but the way that it was done made it feel like he was going to like seven yeah, different places it was a little weird and but... it just moved really fast and really, yeah so um, did you. And so you liked how it how it ended and dropped and brought everything to a kind of to a close. I mean, no, I didn't like the way it ended. <laughs> well, you know what I mean. <laughs> but yeah, I like how it wrapped up the whole storyline and and brought yeah. it to an end. Yeah. 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 That, I thought I thought they did a good job of it. Mm -hmm. Like I said, so I don't like the ending, <laughs> but uh, so one of my coworkers had told me that what it felt like to him was the director, J.J. Abrams, just making a checklist of what the fans wanted and just going down that checklist and checking things off. Did that did it feel like that for you? I guess I don't know because I don't see... <clears throat> First of all, I don't know what the fans wanted. <laughs> <laughs> and so, like... Because I know a lot of it was like, oh, I really hope they bring this character back, and I really hope they do this. But I have no real correlation with those characters. Mm -hmm. And even so, like, I've seen the last two movies, so, like, I'm sure I've seen these characters. Like, Ryan's like, oh, yeah, this Rose character, and I'm like, I don't know who the heck that <laughs> is. <laughs> um, I don't, I just don't have, I guess I don't have that deep of an understanding of what fans could be wanting or yeah. anything like that to say that so like i don't know it just felt like a movie yeah. that was done well i don't know i don't yeah. so i don't it, see it, it like it didn't feel like a checklist type of deal well no i wouldn't yeah. even know what a check what the checklist could be so mm -hmm. like i guess i couldn't but like but i could see where somebody who is really into star wars could feel that way like mm -hmm. like somebody who's been reading all the fan fiction and who's been reading the rumors and stuff like that. Yeah, and all the extended universe. And... and so somebody who knows all of that stuff, I could see where they may feel like it's like, oh, everybody wanted him to do this, so he did. But because I don't know any of that stuff, it doesn't feel like that to me, I guess. Yeah. 
Yeah. I didn't see that, but... And I think that's where it comes from, because all it seems like all of the complaints about the new Star Wars movie that are coming from fans are ones that are just like, oh, he should have done this, and like, or it just, you know, he was... It felt like, like my, my co-worker was, he felt like he was just going down a checklist. It The complaints are coming from longtime Star Wars fans, like yeah. hardcore Star Wars fans. The general public who wasn't necessarily Star Wars fans before this aren't the ones that are complaining about it for the most part. But I was going to say, but I think that there's also people who are very, very hardcore Star Wars fans. Like, Brian loved it. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. He loved it, and he's, like, really into Star Wars. Yeah, yeah, Brian's my, like, my old boss. really into Star Wars, and my yeah. ex-coworker. Yeah, um, and he, yeah, he's absolutely obsessed with Star Wars, and he absolutely loved it. Yeah, so I don't, I think it's, I think it's just those certain people being picky. Yeah. Which happens well, in any... The, and this happens with any movie, book, TV show, anything. The people who are the most vocal about it, about said TV show, movie, whatever are the people who hated it. The people who loved it aren't as vocal because they're like, I loved it. I don't feel the There's need to, I don't feel the need to go out and, you know, proclaim from the rooftops that this was amazing. Some of them do, but, but for the most for part the most they don't part. feel the need to. But the people who hate it and those people like essentially I, I think that it like they feel like they've been betrayed essentially and they have to and so they they want to go and tell people cuz like it's, what happened when you feel like that you're just like, "Oh, I need to go tell everybody." And, you know, but it's, it's just like, like we work in retail and all of our reviews are bad reviews. You don't get the good reviews. Yeah. And it's because when you have a bad experience, you need to complain. You need to make it right. Yes. You need a way to fix it. And so that's why those people are vocal. But if there's nothing to fix, you don't say anything. Yeah. Because there's no reason to. Yeah. Yeah. And that's, and that's just the way that the human population is. Yeah. Bottom line is you you thought it was worth watching. Yeah, I liked it a lot. Yeah, I'd watch it again. <laughs> and I mean, and you probably will. Like when it comes out on Disney Plus, we might watch it again. You know, <laughs> no. <laughs> just making your executive decision. Not gonna watch it again on Disney Plus. Nope. <laughs> you probably well, you probably will because your one of your goals is to uh, watch the entirety of Star Wars. Before we go on Rise of the Resistance. I know I'm trying really hard to, but I can't make it through those movies. <laughs> yeah, that was uh, kind of a look at the pseudo review of Star Wars from the perspective of somebody who isn't uh, a big Star Wars fanatic. So hopefully, you, um, hopefully this video was uh, helpful for you guys, and we will see you all next time.